welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I truly appreciate your time and attention very much. And if you like my videos, you like the tips, the information, the instructions, and some of the humor, if you like that, you enjoy it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel today. It keeps me motivated to keep producing these videos right here on YouTube, and it also helps me grow the YouTube channel so that I can keep reaching all of you around the world and help teach you how to screen print. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. All right, so today is another quick tips video quick tips for screen printing and I am doing a follow-up video to the previous video we did this week because we talked about uh, dyed mesh and yellow mesh and why you know why is mesh dyed yellow in the first place right well in that video which you've watched right because you watch all my videos right <laughs> alright well in that video we learned that um, the yellow or dyed mesh, whether it's yellow or amber or orange or whatever color, we learned that this mesh absorbs a little bit of light. So, what does that mean when we expose yellow mesh or dyed mesh in the exposure unit? This is something you may have heard or encountered somewhere online in your research endeavors about how to make screens for screen printing that when we deal with dyed, dyed mesh, yellow mesh, orange mesh, amber mesh, any kind of dyed mesh, we know that the mesh absorbs a little bit of the exposure light from your exposure table, right? Okay, so you may have heard that because of that, it's necessary to increase the exposure time a little bit longer for dyed mesh in order to get your exposure off correctly. Okay, so you're compensating the exposure time, you're compensating for the light exposure, I should say, with a little bit longer exposure time. Now, here's the thing. Lower mesh counts, like 110 mesh counts, 125, 130 mesh counts, because the mesh is more open, the mesh has the physical ability of holding more emulsion, therefore creating a thicker stencil. Okay? Thicker stencils or more emulsion tend to require more time to expose. Okay, so now when we move to higher mesh counts like 200, 230, 300, uh, 305, 355, Okay, these are all going to be dyed mesh because it's higher mesh counts. We're going to be wanting to do high detail or half tones, so it's dyed mesh. Okay, but the mesh is a higher mesh count. It has much smaller mesh openings, and not only that, the thread fiber of, you know, the, the thread fiber itself, the diameter of the threads is smaller. Okay, so the thinner mesh or higher mesh counts naturally hold a lot less emulsion. Okay, so sometimes you will find that it may not be necessary to change the exposure time from white mesh to yellow mesh or dyed mesh simply because the yellow mesh or dyed mesh is holding a lot less emulsion to expose. You follow? Okay, so for instance in my shop my exposure times for my white mesh and dyed mesh are exactly the same. Okay, now that may not be the case for you. Some of you may experience a little bit of fall off in that absorption of the light and you may need to increase your exposure time slightly. But because the higher mesh counts hold less emulsion, it's probably, you could probably start your exposure right where you do your white mesh count. So if it's the first time you're doing dyed mesh or yellow mesh, just start with the same exposure time that you use your, with your white mesh, okay, and then see what happens in the washout, okay. If it, if it washes out and acts like it's underexposed, then you're going to need to add a little bit of time. 
Okay, but you may find that it's going to expose fine at the same time because it's physically holding less emulsion. Okay, so, so just keep that in mind. Lower mesh counts hold more emulsion. Higher mesh counts hold less emulsion. Less emulsion is easier to expose and requires less exposure time. Simple as that. Okay, so in, bottom line is, is you'll have to test. But you can, it, you know, it's a good idea. You can start at the same exposure time as your white mesh and then adjust from there. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Just a quick tip on exposing your dyed mesh. I hope you appreciated that. And please remember that I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies online at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. And I have a storefront right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So come on down and have a visit with me in the storefront if you're in the Phoenix area. Thanks a lot for watching my video today. Please make sure to rate thumbs up, comment below, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.